Hey family, I'm back. As I promised, one tutorial a day, so I'm back. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to use the new pick and roll controls and at the same time, how to use them to score the ball efficiently in 2K16. And if this is the first time you're seeing me, make sure you subscribe right now. I got tutorials coming every day and I'm gonna, I plan to have over 100 of them coming over time this year for 2K16. They only get better and better, so make sure you subscribe right now. And as for today, what I'm going to do for you guys is that I'm going to show you how you can use the pick and roll to score in freelance and at the same time how you can use it to score using the playbook. So without further delay, let's take a look at this tutorial and yes, subscribe for more and add a like button for more. Alright, I'm excited so let's get to it. We'll begin by looking at uh, using pick and rolls in a freelance offense. The freelance offense we'll be using for the Cavs is a very simple 4 out 1 in space of floor. This is one of the best ways to score in 2K and this still holds true in 2K16. But before we get into that, let's actually take a look at the new pick and roll controls this year. So if you hold on to L1, a pick will come. But I suggest you actually just tap L1, bring up the icons and select the player you want specifically for the pick. So I've selected Moskov here, so I've held on to L2, and as you can see, he's coming up. And as long as I hold on to L2, the pick and roll control icon above Moskov head is always going to be there. Clicking R1 will alternate him between fading and rolling, so I can select this for as long as I want. But eventually, if you do this long enough, the controls will break down, so Moskov will just run away from you. He won't let you do this forever. So make sure you select the one you want and execute. So here you see him again, I have clicked L1 to bring up the icons. I have selected L2 to tell Moskov to come up. This time, if you hold on to the right trigger, alternating the right trigger will switch the pick side. So you can see me doing it here, left, right, left, right, Moskov continues to go from left to right with the right trigger. I haven't really messed with the roll or the fade, so he's not doing that, but he is switching sides, so this is good. But once again, eventually, if you hold it long enough and you don't decide to go, Moskov will run away from you. So make up your mind. Now this time we're going to look at how to run it properly within the 4-1. So I'm using Kevin Love here and as you can see, he's coming up to me doing a roll. So for all you true basketball fans out there, you understand that LeBron James needs to go to his left because that's a strong side. And at the same time, Kevin Love should not be rolling, he should be fading. So you can see I have made the necessary changes to Kevin Love here. So he is running the correct pick and roll attack within the 4-1 set. So here it is. He's going to set that pick on LeBron's left, so it allows LeBron to go to his strong side. At the same time, he is also going to fade. And since all of the input are completed, I'm just going to let go of triangle. Because if you hold on to triangle, all of the buttons you see above Kevin Love's head, they will still trigger those commands. But as you can see, if you click right trigger, Kevin Love is supposed to switch the pick side. But at the same time, right trigger is turbo. So if you don't let go of triangle for the pick, you will not be able to turbo. So once you have decided, let it go, the command will stay true. Kevin Love will set the pick as you have designed. And now I have gained all the controls back. I can use turbo again without worrying about switching pick sides. And because I was able to use turbo, I can turn the corner and finish over the claw. So make sure you guys remember that. So this time I'm bringing up Moskov. I'm making him send Kyrie to his right. And once I've committed, I've let go all the buttons. And here you can see the new passing controls kicking in. A great roll by Moskov leading to a perfect bounce pass to Kyrie. So if you haven't checked out my passing tutorial, like I told you guys before, all of my videos, one relates to the other. So you can click on the link above to check the passing tutorial to learn how to do that in detail. It's a SamFam advanced tip so you can take hope with you. Sometimes I actually just want LeBron to have the ball, but I will select LeBron as the pick and roll man, not to use him as a pick. I just want him to come towards Kyrie so I can give him the ball. And now I can run my Kevin Love pick and fade while sending LeBron to the left side, which is the perfect execution for a 4-1 space to floor freelance for the Cavaliers and LeBron. So we used it. I've let him go with the buttons, so I regain control of my turbo. So always remember, make sure if you are using the pick and roll and you have selected the commands you want, let go of the button you're holding down so you can regain control of turbo and also at the same time your dribble stick. Now we're going to take a look at the Spurs. Here they're running a free out 2 in extended with freelance action. You got to do this with the Spurs because they have two really good postmen. And when you run the free out extended, what you want to do is you want to call a lot of pick and pops for your big man. So you see I'm doing here with Timmy. The pick and fade works to perfection, Timmy with the jumper. No bank, still good. 
Here it is again, I'm using that spacing. I have selected the fade, sending Timmy fading to the middle. Because if you want good jumpers, you gotta send the big man fading to the middle. I missed there, but it's still a clean look. This time it's with Lamarcus. He fades to the middle again with the fade. Perfect release. Awesome, awesome execution. So remember, the freelance is deadly using the new pick and roll controls. Just make sure you set the command right. And once you have set the one you want, let go of the button so you can regain all of the controls of the other buttons back. Now let's take a look at another way to run pick and rolls, and that is to use playbook pick and rolls. Now when you use playbook pick and rolls, it's actually much more efficient because you wouldn't really need to select the pick and rolls because the picks are coming on their own. So here I'm using the play fist one five lift four. Kevin Love comes down for fake. Kyrie uses it. Good roll by Kevin. Defense breaks down. LeBron James corner free ball. Bang it! Bang bang bang. First time saying that this year. Here's again this time we're running it with LeBron. Fist 1 5 left 4. He gets the lane and of course he's gonna finish. But that is the basic way of doing it. Here is another Sam Fam advanced tip for you. When you use the playbook pick and rolls, sometimes you don't really need to use the pick the way it's supposed to be done. This year, because we have the option of the hand up, what you wanna do is you wanna hit the guy who's selling you the pick, give him the ball. And then you wanna hold on to the circle. This leads to a makeshift pick into a handoff. And it completely shifts the defense, forces mismatches. Kyrie turns on Kevin Love. Uh, Kyrie turns on Lamarcus, kills him. Here it is again. I give it to Moskov. Hand off to Kyrie. Little bit of delay this time, but the defense breaks down, giving Moskov a beautiful roll. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If you enjoy it, please add me a like. And if this is your first SamFam tutorial, make sure you subscribe. My tutorials only get better and better. And as I always say, they're progressional. So you'll learn more and more from me over time. And for those who you have already subscribed, uh, thanks for being patient with me. There's a lot to learn in this game, so I am going to start off like this, so from the basics, and then we'll build our way up. I've already actually figured out one freelance system and also a, a new defensive system, so I'll show you guys those videos later coming up. Uh, as I always say, getting good at 2k is not like a one day thing, it's a journey. So I'm glad that you have decided to take the journey with me. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now so we can go through this journey together throughout the year. So we can become really good 2K players at the same time have lots of fun. And I try to put in Xbox 360 controls for all my Xbox family members. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing today. I'm trying my best. I'm a PS4 guy, so naming Xbox control is slightly confusing to me, but I'm making my way there. So I won't keep you any longer. Go play 2K16, enjoy. Watch my previous video if you haven't on passing and have a great weekend. I will see you again. Tutorials coming every day. Promise. All right. See ya.